The countdown to the next Starship launch is in full swing, promising to build upon SpaceX's grand vision to colonize Mars. After an explosive end to the maiden Starship orbital flight, SpaceX's CEO Musk reaffirmed his resolve to turn this setback into a stepping stone for their ambitious goals. In the months since the dramatic debut flight in April, SpaceX has lodged a request to the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, for permission to conduct their second orbital launch. The proposed timeline stretches from June 15th to December 15th. The mission's focus is an experimental orbital demonstration and retrieval of the Starship test vehicle, with the potential to witness this pioneering spacecraft soar once again in the near future. Launching from Boca Chica, Texas, the mission will see the Super Heavy booster return to the Gulf of Mexico around 495 seconds post-liftoff. Meanwhile, the Starship's upper stage is set to splash down in the Pacific Ocean, northwest of Hawaii's Kauai Island, about 90 minutes after takeoff. However, obtaining an FCC license is only one piece of the puzzle. Further pre-flight checklist items need to be addressed. To this end, SpaceX is tirelessly working on the necessary calculations and adjustments. In the wake of extensive damage to the launch pad at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas during the initial launch, a 20-second video on May 19 unveiled tests of technology designed to reinforce the ground beneath the orbital launch pad. The force generated by the Super Heavy rocket's 33 Raptor engines during the maiden flight resulted in a massive crater and scattered debris. In response, Musk proposed a giant water-cooled steel plate under the launch mount. The test footage showed a Raptor engine striking a steel plate in a torrent of water, promising a feasible solution when upscaled to accommodate the full array of engines. The upcoming launch is anticipated to feature the next-generation Raptor 3 engines, a crucial advancement in rocket technology for its power and efficiency. Unlike most rocket engines using kerosene, the Raptor engine employs a full-flow staged combustion cycle using liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The advantages of methane are cleaner combustion, reducing engine wear, and the intriguing possibility of manufacturing methane fuel on Mars for return journeys. The Super Heavy rocket, boasting 33 Raptor engines, could generate more than 12.5 million pounds of thrust. By contrast, the Falcon 9's first stage, powered by nine Merlin engines, produces around 1.7 million pounds of thrust. This demonstrates the Raptor engine's immense power and efficiency, signifying a colossal stride in rocket technology. The Starship itself is a marvel of modern engineering. With an impressive height of 160 feet and a diameter of 30 feet, it's designed to carry both crew and cargo to a variety of destinations in space. Its reusable design aims to significantly cut the cost of space travel, making it more accessible. The stainless steel structure is chosen not only for its durability, but also for its ability to withstand the harsh conditions of space and re-entry. The ship features a large payload bay, which could be configured to serve different purposes, including carrying scientific instruments, satellites, and even habitats and resources for future Martian colonists. Nevertheless, a critical obstacle remains, gaining Federal Aviation Administration or FAA approval for another launch test. Despite the FAA confirming no injuries from the previous launch, they maintain that new tests will only be approved if public safety isn't threatened. Given SpaceX's history of meticulous planning and adherence to safety guidelines, it's expected that they'll work strenuously to ensure the upcoming test's safety and success. SpaceX's ability to learn from failure is a key factor in their success. Each setback is an opportunity to identify weaknesses and implement improvements, as shown following the 2015 Falcon 9 explosion. A faulty strut was found to be the cause, leading to upgraded quality control measures and testing procedures. SpaceX must also conquer the challenge of achieving a controlled descent and landing of the Starship. Musk has likened this to trying to balance a rubber broomstick on your hand in the middle of a windstorm. The Starship needs to descend belly first to increase drag and reduce speed, then flip vertically in time for the landing burn, a novel and daring procedure. Beyond technical hurdles, SpaceX faces intricate airspace and ocean landing area regulations in various countries. They must secure essential approvals and collaborate with international organizations to ensure the safety of the flight path and landing zones. Even with these challenges, SpaceX remains resolute in pushing the boundaries of space technology.
This mission and future ones rest on SpaceX's ability to learn from past mistakes and continue driving technological innovation. If successful, the second Starship launch, and the many anticipated to follow, will take us one step closer to the dream of Mars colonization. Despite the complexities and obstacles, the goal of colonizing Mars remains steadfast. SpaceX, under Musk's stewardship, continues to turn challenges into opportunities. The upcoming Starship launch signifies their unwavering dedication. In preparation for future missions, SpaceX has invested significant resources in research and development, particularly in their innovative Raptor engines. These engines employ unique propulsion methods, promising more efficient and powerful launches than traditional rocket engines. Additionally, SpaceX has established partnerships with a number of academic institutions and research organizations to further refine their technology and operational procedures. The company also offers numerous public outreach programs, aiming to educate and inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and space explorers. The Starship project aims not only to reach Mars, but also to transform our relationship with space. By pioneering reusable rockets, SpaceX could make space travel more affordable and accessible. Musk has even suggested that in the future, anyone who wants to relocate to Mars should have the opportunity to do so. In a long-term view, Musk has spoken about terraforming Mars, or making it more Earth-like to support human life. He's proposed some speculative methods for this, such as releasing greenhouse gases to warm the planet. However, he acknowledges that these ideas are purely hypothetical and would need rigorous scientific research, environmental assessment, and ethical discussion before ever being implemented. As we look forward to the upcoming launch, the world will be watching with bated breath. Every triumph and tribulation of SpaceX brings us one step closer to a future where humans become a multiplanetary species. The challenges are substantial, but if anyone can turn this dream into reality, it's SpaceX. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.